We're talking to everybody about sort of like how we handle social media in these times because you know we've seen some high profile people deactivate their social media, like yeah. Bobby Brown. You know what happens, right? And like and, and all the trolling out there. How do you guys deal with that? Are you tempted to ever deactivate social media? Check out every day. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think about it daily. It's hard. It's something I struggle with, honestly. I've, I've become very bored of it. There are moments when I do find myself like, okay, I gotta get out of this. I mean, Nads deletes yeah. her Twitter app sometimes. Yeah, I don't have my Twitter app on my phone right now. I'll just text somebody that has my password and they'll tweet for me right now. It's just like, I find Twitter to be more of a negative place than Instagram, right. and it's not as safe as I would like it to be. And I feel like as a, I mean, I think it's pretty normal that I, I get caught up in like what's going on and then I like take it personally and it's just not a healthy space for me. There is a horrible thing, isn't there, where if you put a picture up and there's 999 nice comments and there's one you're, that's the one that you tend to remember if you do. Well, I have a sort of pretty easy rule. Rarely, if ever, scroll through the comments. I don't go searching, uh, and whatever comes to me, I can decide whether it's positive or whether I want to interact or not. Somebody could ruin your day simply by finding, you know, that hole in your armor yeah. and slowly putting the knife through it. And it's like become this place where it further exacerbates our divisiveness because of like a pretty toxic call out culture and mm -hmm. I'm all for accountability but I think it's just gone a bit too far. I, there's a lot of toxicness out there in the internet. People like to hide behind these fake accounts and whatnot. And then there are certain people who use that anonymity to spew, spew whatever hatred you know they right. want. They feel like this power in hurting somebody else and it's just really pathetic. I, you know, the, the fact that people can hide in the privacy of wherever they are and say horrible things about whoever they want is, is it, it's not a good look. I've actually had people tag me in posts where they say, you know, I actually wish this other person had played Misty Knight. I'm like, why the hell are you tagging me in this shit? Like, untag myself. And that's something that I have taken upon myself. Like, I don't need to see that in my feed. Yeah. Which to me proves how completely disconnected people are to the fact that there is a real human being behind that avatar. We are actual people with actual feelings that see and read all of this stuff. There's a way to talk about things that you're not necessarily a fan of without being like, this needs to stop and this person can't do it. Right. Like that's what's kind of ruinous about that toxicity, particularly in this genre. This is the place where we all go to escape the real fucking world. I think one of the confusing things is that social media has become a really integral part of, of uh, an entertainer's business life. The reason I'm on social media at this point is for my career and for the show. We have to do it, it's part of our job. Right. To let people know about the new show and you know all the effort that people have put to inviting us here. And it's hard, but that's, you know, when we're actors, we put ourselves in that position. But what is happening with being trolled and that kind of vitriol, that's not what anybody signs up for. Like it or not, it's one of the main ways we communicate with each other now. It's also the it's also ways like movements like Me Too and Black Lives Matter have happened and been popularized. And but the algorithms definitely prize uh, assholes and yeah. reward assholes over other people. The internet sort of rewards extremes, and, and yeah. I, I think something that a lot of studios or are, are trying to keep up with is the fact that hate is alive and well on the internet. Hate has been a part of the internet since the internet started. Right. It also turns opinion into fact. Yep. And it erases gray areas, it erases the nuances that live inside us all. It's really easy to take it personally, but this is this is just something that comes with the territory as, especially if a show is beloved, you're, you're going to have a percentage that's not going to yeah. treat you nicely. You can't really take it yeah. personally. It's just part of the game. But I, I do think there's a way of, of curating your experience on social media that, that one, removes all the stress of, of the outside world and two, creates an experience that, that can be enjoyable and unique and, and, and fun. You'll know the shit I love. Well, I won't stop talking about it, but you'll never hear about the shit that I don't even like. Totally. Because there's no point. I'm not going to waste breath on something I don't like and stuff like that. I'm not in this to get into arguments with people or take away someone's ability to enjoy something and have fun. Just do what you would like to see done to you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't behave in a way which you wouldn't like to see reciprocated back to you. I, th I think that's a really important thing to, to be considerate about when, when you are online.
one thing I've learned not to do is go there for validation. Right. And um, I really kind of try, well, I don't do anything on there that I'm not comfortable with. So I kind of feel like regardless of what's said, I've, I've put it out there because I'm confident with it and I like it and I did it for me. So yes. that's that. You gotta do you. There gotta you do go. you, you gotta stay you. you. And all I can do is just be the best version of me that I can possibly be. For all those people that hate everything, you're right, you're right, because that's how you feel. What you need to do is aggregate your life so that you are in charge, making those decisions and making that kind of stuff. And then you won't be mad anymore because when you're making it, you're making it to your specs. How could you ever possibly be mad? The only downside is you will have to deal with assholes that are telling you that you're doing it wrong all the time.